you're from the states but where exactly were you sort of born and raised okay well i was i was born and raised in inglewood new jersey okay yeah inglewood new jersey where uh regina bell was like the first person to get out we all went to the same high school together regina bell a oh. brother bernard bell oh bernard that we all that. bernard that we always see with teddy and the writing yeah. let's chill and and uh, yes, kissing sir. him wow so you that know bernard wow. bell uh Big Bob from the group today. The he whole group, the whole group today is from what? Inglewood. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then we got, you know, we got the group Riff, who's from Patterson, where Chauncey's from. Yeah, yeah. So, We're good friends like, with Nitty. Yeah. Yeah. Nitty we great. all grew up. We all grew up in singing gospel, singing quartet in wow. church, singing in the choir together. Bernard was my organist. What? You know what I mean? Yeah. Me and Bob sung. Me, Bob, and Chauncey sung in a gospel group, and Mike Nitty. We sung in a gospel group together growing up. So, oh my like, goodness, just, yeah, man, <laughs> then we family. Wow, wow, yeah. and um, that so New Jersey. I mean, that, and that's amazing because you know a lot of what we hear from, New, especially with uptown and, and stuff, was always New York, New York. But when we've seen yeah. a lot of the sort of the the core from this whole New Jack swing family. It seems that New Jersey had uh, a King big part Pen of it. Redhead uh, Kingpin, right there. We all went to school together. We grew up together. Are you kidding me? Nah, man. It's right <laughs> in New Jersey. <laughs> but it, so up. you guys, so as singers and performers, you guys kind of knew each other as kids? I mean, yeah, we, we, we played football, basketball. We went to school together. Like, we grew up to. Matter of fact, Bob, Bob, myself, and, an, and another gentleman by the name of Ronald Scruggs, who like he taught us all wow we grew up in the same projects like we like like we we are brothers you know my I mean? goodness yeah. now back in those days did was singing something that you that bonded you guys or was it other things because we know americans are really first time with basketball baseball football and stuff like that but what was it that sort of united you guys back in those days singing like like i said we all grew up in the church that's how i met chauncey in, in church. Like wow. I was singing in one group, one gospel group. Yeah. Chauncey and Nitty were singing in a different gospel group. But, you know, like they were so good. They they basically stole me from my group. To, to <laughs> to my okay, group. okay. And I was I was more than happy to go. So back in those days, did you guys ever think music was something that you'd ever do, or was it just just a pastime or what was the idea? Well, to, to be honest, for Bob, Bob was destined to to do this. Um, you know, I was happy singing in church. Not, not well, yeah, I was happy singing in church. But basically, you know, I never thought that it was it would be possible for me to to you know to go beyond singing in church until I saw. Well, Regina was an exception. Okay. But after Regina came today. And I actually, Bob, the, actually, they wanted me to be in the group today, but I didn't think it was going to fly. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't think it could happen. So I was like, nah, I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool <laughs> with doing the gospel. And mm. then it popped, you know? So, yeah, after today, you know, me and Chauncey got together. We was like, yo, man, we could do this ourselves. So me and Chauncey formed a group called Just Two. It was just the two of us. Wow. And we we got with Bernard, and Bernard did a couple of demos with us, and you know he introduced it to Teddy at that time. That was that was years ago. That that could have that that was like uh, uh, what year did today's first album come out? Would have been 90, 89 or ninety. So that was around then. Eighty nine. Okay. No. Eighty nine. Okay. Ninety. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you know, you, you're, we're, we're, we're going to go back a little bit because that, I mean, this is, so because you mentioned that you said Bob was destined. I mean, I know he's taller than most of you guys, but did you yes. then, what, what was about him then that you guys <laughs> as friends could say, man, this guy's going to make it? Well, like I said, we sung quartet in a, in a quartet group in church. Yeah. And Bob would be hitting spins and you know, like doing things that we that we would <laughs> typically do in a church, sing wow. the gospel. You know what I mean? 
yeah, he just, it, it was me. I was like the quiet kind of singer. Like nobody really knew. If you didn't go to my church, you yeah. really didn't know I, I sung it. Yeah. Bob was doing all the talent shows and, you know, um, he was, he was there. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it was. And so you didn't join today, but the other guys, all, all friends, were they writing their own stuff and back in those days and, and, and produce or, or what was it, what was it like for you guys? Was it more of a, you just sing covers and then you'll be fine with that or? Uh, well, you, you're speaking about today, right? Well, I, I wanted to start off with you and your, and as a group, because you said you guys were all together. So I'm wondering if, you know, you were all writing yeah, we as were singing, a... We were singing gospel. So yeah, we were, we were coming up with our own gospel songs, not really not recording, just performing in church. Okay. And mostly cover songs, yeah. Mostly okay. cover gospel songs. Yeah. But then w were you with the guys from today and you could were they writing their own stuff and you were watching and thinking, wow, you... Yeah. Yeah. On that, that first Today album, I think I think they, they wrote a lot of the, that stuff with Teddy and Bernard. Okay. Yeah. And so they said, John, you didn't think it was going to do well so it, but then did they come back and said guys we've got a deal Could you want to join us or what, what was it uh, well what well really what happened was bob bob he came to me before the deal okay and i, I just wasn't interested in doing rb at that time yeah again one because i didn't think it was gonna fly <laughs> and then two yeah you know, i just i was into to doing gospel yeah so, you know, I missed that opportunity. He they they definitely he definitely offered, you know, a spot for me, but it it didn't play out. It wasn't supposed to happen. So, yeah. it didn't. You know what I mean? And you said you also met with Teddy after they signed or before they signed? After they signed, Bernard introduced Chauncey and myself to Teddy. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like, like this. This goes way back, man. Like we've known each other for for a long time, even before Blackstreet started. Yeah, yeah. And we will get to yeah. Blackstreet, but then when you get introduced by Bernard to Teddy, had, had Groove Me has come out. I wanna. He's already done all the Kumo D stuff. He's already done the Heavy D stuff. Yeah. Did you yeah, then Teddy think? Was oh, did, how was it meeting him back in those days? Knowing oh, was, it was everything. Teddy, was, <laughs> Teddy was law. He was incredible. He was incredible. Like that was a dream for Chauncey and I, but that that didn't play out for whatever reason. I don't. I don't remember exactly what happened, but I know we we had uh, Chauncey and I had written a song for ourselves, and Bernard produced it. And I think he he took the song to Teddy. Or he they were working on the Jacksons album at the time. Okay, twenty three hundred Jackson Street. Yeah. Yeah, and Bernard presented that song to the Jacksons, and I believe they wanted to cut it, but it was something that we didn't. Chauncey and I we wanted that song for ourselves. So okay. I think that's how it kind of it kind of messed up around yeah. that you know around that time. Okay. Because we we weren't ready to give it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. What did you do with the song? It still hasn't been recorded. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, it's a you know, it's an old song. <laughs> it's it's not... what it worked today, but yeah, at the time it was a it was a it was a banging joint. You know, we we've heard quite a lot about Bernard Bell. He, you know, of you know, we see his name a lot, um, mm -hmm. but we don't see him talking around. But you've known him back in those days. Um, what was he? What's his? I mean, how? What's what's his? Um, what's his skill? Was he? A, does he sing as well? Because we know about him as a writer, but he sings. A... He sing. Bernard sing. Bernard plays. It, 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 you put anything in front of him, he'll he he can play it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Bernard was an incredible songwriter, musician. Like I said, he played he played organ for me on the choir. Okay. He played guitar for us. Wow, uh, playing in the gospel groups, yeah. But no, I was like, he was he was like the musician of, you know, our area, our yeah. crew. You know what I mean? Yeah. But did you think he was also going to be destined like Bob when you know, growing up, or did you think that he'll be one of our us and just relax and? Well, I I didn't know Bernard as long as I knew Bob. I didn't know Bernard until you know until today was pretty really. Popping maybe maybe a year or two before today really got on. 
Okay. You know what I mean? So Bernard and Bub were like, they were in a group together even before today. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, this goes on and on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I, I was interested that you said you really were really focused in, in the gospel and, and, in, and you know, I mean, I went to this, I went to university in the States and, 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 I, and I know how much religion, uh, I'm sorry, the church has developed so many talents within the R&B yeah, community, yeah. Uh, so. which is which is amazing. At those in in those times, did you um, was it influenced by your family to say this is where we're going to stay, and you really wanted to stay in and and go down the gospel route, or was it just enjoy singing on the weekends and then just think yeah, that things? was that was pretty much it. I mean, I mean to be honest, like I was forced to sing. My <laughs> mother made me get on the choir, you know, and then the choir director made me lead a song mm. and it just, you know, like I sung and people got excited and, you know, then like I said, Bernard joined the choir and Bernard is really the person who pushed me to do this. Cause wow. I, like I was content with singing in the choir, <laughs> yeah, being mad about it, but you know what I mean? Yeah. And he was just like, yo, like you got something there. Like, yo, your, your, your voice is so smooth and you know, he pushed me. I, I I cannot tell a lie. Bernard is my man, and if it were not for Bernard, I probably wouldn't be doing this interview with you right now. My That's goodness! Yeah. My goodness! Yeah, as I said, we've heard a lot, a lot about him. Teddy talks about him. It's in John Marie. There's no one I've talked to that doesn't bring up Bernard Bell, and yeah. um, so I mean, yeah. he, he's going to definitely, hopefully, he'll get his props and and get to share his story. But then, when he was pushing, did you think? Because you mentioned, is it after today got their deal that you and said, "Oh, okay, maybe we should do this"? Or what was? Yeah. Were we trying to be a gospel group, or what was? What? what how did that switch from? Well, well we were already you? doing. We were already doing gospel, Chauncey and I. Okay. But when we both saw today do it, <laughs> we were like, "Yo, if they could do it, we could do it." So we gonna do it. We gonna we gonna put an R&B situation together. Me and me and Chauncey. Yeah. So we went to Bernard and we put, like I said, we put a couple songs together. He. He introduced us to Teddy over this this one song that we did. Yeah, and I mean that was the connection. That's that's where it all started. You know. What yeah, I mean? but he's introduced to Teddy, but Gene was still in the picture, wasn't he? Gene Griffin. Gene, yeah, yeah. Gene was Gene was still in the picture at that time. So, but okay, there's a little smile there, but because it was no, he not? No. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Go ahead. yeah. No, I was just wondering though, but because I would have thought he had most of the say. From the because he was running the business side, would he would have said, "Oh, that looks good. Bring it here." Or, 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 or uh, it just went to Teddy and he. Yeah, well, I like I said, I think that the the issue was the song. Like Chauncey and I were looking at it as, you know, we're gonna do this group, and Bernard could introduce us to Teddy for the group. Just be signed. When, yeah, that that was the plan. That yeah, was the plan. But I think somehow when. When the song got introduced, it was like, yo, you know, I'm working on this Michael Jackson problem, this project, you know, let's let's present this song to them. So we were kind of left out of it. You know what I mean? Uh, that's I mean, I, I yeah. don't know all the details, but yeah, that's yeah. what it seemed like. Okay. I never even brought it up again, but yeah. But it's yeah. strange. It's cause I, I th it's having a, just a duel, just you and Chauncey in a group, was that not um, I'm, apart from Eddie Kendricks and David Ruff and, and David Ruffin, there was not nah, many. You know what? At, the t at the time, it was a group called uh, what do you call it? In Touch, I believe. They were on Electra Records. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, and yeah, and, and, yeah and so, so it wasn't. You know, it was kind of different, but it yeah. wasn't. You know, what I mean, like people had they had done it. You know what I mean at the time. So that was one of the reasons why we wanted to do it too, because it wasn't like what everybody else was doing, but yeah, it had been done. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when that didn't, so when that didn't happen, what did you, what did you guys, what did you end up doing with, with yourself? Uh, yeah. So that didn't happen, and then uh, Chauncey and I kind of, you know, we went our separate ways. That's when I got involved with uh, actually Bernard again. Bernard introduced me to a, a, a gentleman by the name of Darren Lighty. I'm sure you've heard. Yeah, his yeah, name. Darren Lighty. Yeah, yeah. Darren Lighty. Untouchable. Yeah. Which, yeah which was the, the group called The Flex. So it was ah. myself, Darren, and his brother, Cliff. And um, 
you know, we did the whole LL thing with Molly. As a matter of fact, we sung on all of that hip hop stuff Molly was doing back then. Oh, so so did did you guys sign to Molly Mall back in? in... Yes, we we had a deal with through Molly on Silas Records. Okay, Universal MCA yeah. rather. Right yeah, and um, so we were working on an album, but it, it never it never came out. I don't even remember why it didn't, but it, it didn't. But it, it but before that, you guys were doing all the background stuff for LL, right? So we were touring with LL, oh. uh, all of that, all of that stuff. Teddy, I mean, uh, Marley, Marley was Ma. working on back then when it, you know. So that was like the really the beginning of hip hop and R with R and D backgrounds and all of that. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. So, so we worked, we we worked with um, Heavy, Marley, uh, Craig G, Tragedy. Uh, TJ Swan, we did a bunch of stuff with him. We did, we did a bunch of that stuff. Man. So, would you, so in all these tracks, would it be, would it, would they have featuring the flex, or would you, it just in the background credit would say by, backgrounds by the flex? Or, okay, backgrounds, yeah. Okay, yeah. which um, did you do? Round the way, go was was were you on yeah. that? Okay, yeah. that was the that was the one. That was the one that got the deal and everything for the flex. That was, oh, yeah. Okay, so Molly put you guys on that and so Silas said oh who are the guys singing background for that and he said these these are my guys and right wow how that yeah and then when Ella was touring you guys would go on tour and do the back and, and do yeah we did all the TV stuff with L we didn't really go on a tour but like all the promotional TV and we did all of that okay and TV jams and what was it the party machine okay uh, soul train Actually, we did the Soul Train Awards with him too. One year, <laughs> that ah. year. How how long was that? The flex. How long was that for? How uh, long? Man, uh, so I, I guess around the way, girl came out around ninety, ninety one, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. And I did that until I, I got with Black Street. Oh, but okay, okay. So you you yeah. with them until you got into Black Street. Right. Okay. So and we were a production team as well. Like we did, we did, we written some, we wrote songs and and produced songs for other. Uh, so it was it wasn't just us as a singing group, but we were like a production team. You know, what I mean, Darren was doing the production, and Cliff and I did most of the writing. Wow. Now don't ask me who we worked with because <laughs> I, I mean I know we did Bub. We did we did a song for Eminem, which is. Uh, uh, is Mary it Mary and Martha? I was going to think Eminem yeah. would have been too was slim shady, but it was Mary and Martha who were in abstract. Yeah, uh, a couple couple artists that probably never really uh, you know jumped off, but yeah, and we how, were doing our own stuff. <clears> how did you meet Darren? Because uh, we, as I said, Darren Lighty, um, I think he did part of on touch was he worked with. That's why somebody asked, "Did you work with Donnell Jones?" And I'm thinking the connection is with Darren Lighty. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. I mean, well, like I said, Bernard introduced me to Darren. Yeah. Bernard introduced me to Teddy. He introduced me to Darren. Wow. Um, yeah, and Darren introduced me to Marley, so that's how all that happened. But um, yeah, okay. man. It's... Okay. You, did you didn't did you work with Donnell Jones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was that was through Candy too, too, as the A and R at the time. So Darren was working with Eddie. And then me and my partner Wes were work. You know, we were doing stuff. We had okay, so you guys, are, the, the group had broken up by that time. Yeah, I would like I said after ninety and ninety six, I came to Black Street, so that was the end of the flex. Yeah, you know, but we we were always, you know, we always stayed. Those, those are my brothers. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>